Good afternoon, this is Pete at Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Today we're going to take a look at this Forest River Ibex. This 2023 unit is a model number 19 RBM. Again, this presentation comes to you from Bish's RV of the Quad Cities. Okay, let's start on the aerodynamic front here. We've got this panoramic front window. And it's going to be really cool, especially from the inside. Uh, over here we've got the tongue jack. It's a power tongue jack with a docking light on there assist you in docking at night and in behind here we have a single LP cylinder 20 pound LP cylinder on there there's a battery disconnect now I want to draw your attention to the fact that I've got a very simple small little jump pack hooked up here so that we can power the unit up this is going to become important in a little bit trust me okay this is a slide out unit this particular model does incorporate a slide out on the Schwintech slide out mechanism there and over to here let's take a quick peek and here magnet grab catches on the hatch cover there's our gravity filler to the side there on the right plus the city water connection as well inside we've got a few accessories and things in there at this point now you've got uh, stabilizer jacks these are going to be uh, crank down stabilizer jacks, four of them, one to each corner, of course, across the unit. Genuine Goodyear tires, 15 inch mounted on, there's a radial tires, by the way, nitrogen filled, uh, and they're uh, mounted right there on tandem for you. This is an exterior ducted vented range hood. We're going to discover that on the inside, too. 30 amp electrical service with a twist lock removable cord. Here would be your cable and satellite hookup, should you wish to hook to a cable or satellite system there, you're prepped and ready to go for that there. Sewer connections down around the off side here. As we return around the back, here is your roof access ladder. You're prepped for the easy addition of a rear vision or backup camera of your choice there. Unit does have black tank flush. There you go, black tank flush included on the unit spare tire as well. Again, these are 15 inch Goodyear tires. These are all, including the spare, Goodyear tires, not the Ying Yang Sure Pops from years ago and that, but these are these are the real deal. Okay, here we go. Take a look at this on the campsite. 14 foot rollout awning. It's a 12 volt activated power awning with an adjustable, uh, you can adjust the pitch on the arms on that as well. Hey, I've got all the boonie goodies set up for you on here too. Speaking of which, by the way, this unit incorporates the Ibex launch package as well as the Ibex beast mode package. How cool is that? I mean, beast mode just got to say that again it's beast mode <laughs> all right enough of that um down underneath here okay low point drains as well as your lp quick connect on there this is a rail mounted shelf system plus your griddle got the griddle all set up quick connect also for spray down wash i can set the hose right there so you can see you know how that all works you know the drill with that okay back out a little bit from here look at the knobby tires as well as that high ground clearance there as i said beast mode <laughs> you have to be in beast mode for it okay we'll take a peek at it from over at this angle this way the graphics are really cool it's a new graphic scheme that they've got going on the 2023 units that's what makes this really exciting to look at from that angle all right taking a look in here it's zombie storage time it's where you put the kids when they misbehave no don't don't do that i'm just kidding no and don't put bodies in there either but anyway plenty of storage huge storage capability in there and of course you'll see this aluminum framed throughout so now you know what's in behind the walls as well we're going to shut that down here and is, these are led lights by the way throughout the entire unit the only one that's not an led care to guess the microwave light okay Going on to the inside. Now, remember, we're not hooked to AC power. We're gonna pretend we're doing a little boondocking today. So again, we just had that little power unit, that little battery power unit, and we're gonna step on in here. Yeah, yep, we got the TV on, 12 volt TV. We'll talk about that here in just a minute. And I'm gonna shut the door a little bit here so we have a little more adequate lighting. Oh, well, how about lighting? How about we turn on the lights inside here? Hey, speaking of lighting, take a look at this. This is kind of cool. Here's a switch. It's a three-way switch. You can hear it click in three positions. That's for the porch light. There's the white porch light. And there's the yellow bug light. 
Way cool. All right. Hey, look at this. Now, here's what we're talking about. Here's your solar charge controller. And believe it or not, hooked up to that little bitty battery pack there. Solar's running pretty much everything right now, plus charging up that little bitty battery pack. Bear in mind, when you're running on 12 volt solar such as this, there are three things you cannot run. That would be the 15,000 BTU fully ducted air conditioner here. Or excuse me, it's not ducted, but anyway. The 15,000 air conditioner, you cannot run the microwave, and you also cannot run the uh, uh, central vacuum. But other than that, hey, you're pretty good to go off the grid. Okay, cap lifter and stuff right there. Additional hooks for storage. Here's your lights for, and the slide out controls, awning controls, etc. That's all 12 volt activated. All right, over to here. Convertible dinette. And that's, of course, in the dinette position, but it can, of course, fold that down for additional sleeping capabilities should you so wish. All right, up to over to here. Heated holding tanks. All right, we have heat to the holding tanks for fresh gray and black as well. Don't forget on the roof, you also have that wine guard antenna, <clears throat> the omnidirectional antenna system, systems monitor panel here, water heater controls, and water pump to boot. Okay, I bet you didn't notice that very gentle little sound in the background. Whole coach fan. There we go, 12 volt of course. Well, and it's doing a great job on a relatively warm afternoon here of making quite a terrific breeze to your unit. All right, foot flush marine grade stool over to here. Here's your lavatory. That would be your medicine cabinet. And the shower surround with the skylight above. The surround that goes all the way up. There, now you can see from this angle. Plenty of storage. I'm going to swing around back over here. Storage over to here. Shelf storage. You might think towels and washcloths, things like that. And over to here for full length closet storage with the storage bar right there. Well apportioned, well thought out, and ready to go. Barn door will keep you private when you're in here for privacy. Down below, I'm going to guess, I think it's a 16,000 BTU furnace on the unit. Over to here, sink, recessed. Well, it's not really a truly recessed, but it's almost like a farm style sink around uh, Euro sink um, with the high rise faucet spray attachment on that. Over to here, here's your suburban two burner high output range top. Down here to the microwave. Hey, that's a convection microwave, too, by the way. How cool is that? All right, over to the refrigerator. And again, it's ready to go for um, off the grid as well. That's Norcold. I'll take a quick peek. I'll step back here a little bit so you can see how the refrigerator is set up for you. I have it turned off right now. I don't have any adult beverages to put in it yet. Okay, down below. Here is the central vacuum system. Again, that's for use when you have AC power. Should you be on the grid, you're ready to go. Okay, flat screen HDTV, 32 inch. That's a 12 volt system. There you go. There's your 12 volt plug glowing bright red to show that you do have 12 volt power connected to it. Egress full function window with a balance and the window treatment right there. Pull down shades on that. Now, I do not have the inverter hooked up. Oh, inverter? Yes, I forgot to mention the inverter. Okay, here we go. These are your inverter controls. USBs are on the side there. That's for charge ports for use at night or what have you. Uh, that is for the inverter. There's a, let me think here. I think it's a 2,000 watt uh, inverter. Yes, 2,000 watt inverter is hooked up. That powers up most of the AC outlets throughout this unit. Not just one, not just you know, whatever is close by, but no, it is it with a transfer switch and wired in, including the exterior outlet, I do believe is also controlled, uh, can be used, should you wish, with the inverter function. Or is the inverter, well, you know what, we're just about ready to talk about the bed, so let's lift this up halfway here, jackknife sofa, down underneath here, yep, there it is, it's out of, out of sight and out of mind until you need to use it, and away you go. It's really very simple. You just pop a switch, 
and in a couple seconds you have AC power should you wish to run AC devices off the grid, off the 12 volt inverter. All right, let's deploy the bed. Bear in mind, I'm doing this, by the way, of course, I'm holding the camera with one hand, right? So I'm doing this with my other hand, showing you how easy it is to set things up for nighttime. There we go, let's step back here and take a look. Nighty night, and away you go. Um, there I have the jackknife sofa deployed, and here is your Murphy bed down and ready to go. I pulled the safety, the uh, um, the shade down, but otherwise you'd have quite a panoramic view overhead behind you there. There's a his and hers light on either side. There's plenty of accommodations in these shelves way back over there on one side and over here on the other. If you're thinking in terms of a, say, a CPAP machine or your cell phone at night or whatever it is that you want at uh, instant access to, is plenty of uh, available storage there. Uh, I have the auxiliary lighting set up for the shirt closets on either side, left and right. And there you go. All LED lighting again, except for the microwave. You remember? Okay. There we go. I think we fairly well covered everything. Oh, you know what I didn't mention? This is the cinder interior decor option shown on this unit. Other decor options may be available. Just ask about that. And again, overhead, the air conditioning's 15,000 BTU AC. And I think we covered everything in here. So again, from Bish's RV of the Quad Cities, we want to thank you for watching and stay in tune. And we'll wish you happy trails. See you around. Bye.